Hello everybody, my name is Shelly. If you're new here, and thank you so much for being here. You guys have a choice of watching a lot of different videos, and I assume that you're watching a lot of different videos, but I appreciate that you stumbled across my channel. We have a little community of ladies of a certain age who just like to play with makeup. None of us are makeup artists. We're just playing and trying our best to look appropriate. Being able to leave the house, not embarrassing our family is kind of, kind of the goal. I've got some Lady Gaga products today. I took advantage of their little uh, birthday sale thing in March, I guess. Must be when Stephanie, on <laughs> a first name basis, when Lady Gaga's uh, birthday was. And so I picked up her a little kit. It all comes in this cute little uh, plastic envelope. A little cosmetic case, but it was there was a an eyeshadow palette, uh, an eyeliner, and a lip crayon, and I took that opportunity to also pick up a lip liner and a blush palette. So I've already prepped my face with the Urban Decay Simply Naked Hydromaniac. I've got about two layers of it on, and I've been doing Wayne Goss's little trick lately of, of not like you know, he invented it, but I, I think. His instruction was was probably well timed, uh, of doing just a little bit, like put it on the back of your hand, dot it on, and blend it in with a, a brush. And you want your brush to be like dry because you want to buff it all in. I've been doing that. Felt like I needed two two layers of this Urban Decay foundation, and then I also have a little bit of this Psycho Pair. I don't know. It's not like Psycho Psycho. I don't know. This is the Dar Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. I use this as an eyelid primer. We're trying something new because I've used this palette a couple times and I didn't have the best luck. So I'm trying something different to see if I can get a better a better application. I also have a little bit of the Flower Beauty concealer on. Not too much, just a little bit. Probably could use a little bit more. I think that's it. First thing I'm gonna do is actually line my lips. This is the House Laboratory R.I.P. Lip Liner. And I think it's in the shade Doll, but I, I can't really tell. This is a little bit more pink than what I'm used to to go along with a little bit more of the coral colored lipstick. It, it'll look okay. Let's just say it's intentional. This is a ridiculously creamy formula. I absolutely love it. I was just feeling like I needed a little brightness. I don't know, I, my color's a little off because I don't have my box lights on. I probably should have. Now I'm gonna go in with the Le Monster Matte Crayon and this is in Perfect Pose, I guess. I actually like the component, it's kind of cute. It's got like a pointed and mimics the actual pointed end of the applicator, which I've now used a couple times. That is a very, very comfortable lip product. You know, my favorite lip gloss of all time, and I didn't bring it down here because it's in one of my purses actually, is one of her lip glosses. I absolutely love it. It's like the perfect shade for me. So I'm, it's no surprise that I actually like the other lip products. And that's kind of hit and miss. What You never really like all the products. And I, I'm not saying I love all the products that I've tried so far. I bought this palette called Head Rush. And again, I'm not sponsored, not affiliated. We're just trying Lady Gaga products. This is the blush and highlighter duo. This highlighter is ridiculous. It's a duochrome type thing where you put it on, it looks almost lavender, it's blinding. And I think this is one of those, a little goes a long way. It does seem to buff in a little bit, so I'm not horribly upset that I can, a little bit goes a long way. I'm actually gonna put a little bit right here. A little bit right there. All right. I don't really need anything anywhere else. We're gonna we're gonna leave well enough alone right now. But the blush I think is actually really pretty. I've been going back kind of old school where I use blush instead of doing any kind of contour and things like that. I've been finding that I can get going back to when I used to just do single blush applications. It just makes it so much faster and easier. And if I can get kind of the same effect without layering and layering and layering. I mean, at the end of the day, I just kind of want more cheekbones. I want more definition to my face. I used to, you know. So what have you guys been buying lately? It's a pretty blush, like legit pretty, pretty blush. It feels nice on the skin. It's, it's just a really, really pretty blush. I keep building it up because, you know, that's just what I do. It's very pretty. Okay, I'm going to actually take a little bit of that highlighter. I feel like I might regret it, but I'm going to grab a little bit of this highlighter in here. And ever so lightly. See, when I put it on, it starts to look purple. So we need to buff that in. But we're going to put a little bit on the side too. All right, and now I'm going to take a damp beauty blender 
can just kind of press it into the skin a little bit. Why not? We're just playing, right? The last time I did the Use a Size Shadow Palette, I did use the Hourglass Eyelid Primer, which is a nice, good quality eyelid primer. It still wasn't quite right. I feel like I'm struggling to find what's just right. I decided what I'm going to do, since I have that Dr. Jarts on right now, I'm going to take a little bit. This is that Billion, billion Dollar Brow Concealer and Highlighter. I'm actually going to use a little bit of it right here. We're going to buff that in a little bit. I ended up using this after... I did my eyeshadow to kind of try to fix it. I thought, you know what, let's actually do it in the right order this time. Okay, got that concealer on. Let's look at this eyeshadow palette. It's smaller than the blush duo, the blush and highlighter. I'll show you. Packaging is not the same at all. They've definitely changed it up. I mean, it's still cardboard packaging. That's lined up with the edge of the blush palette in the back and the eyeshadow palette in front, which seems strange. If you could build up the, the blush to the, maybe you go through it faster, I don't know. So this is the eyeshadow palette that I chose. And I thought it looked like a really good kind of everyday, you know, you've got a lighter pink, you've got kind of a dustier rosewood, maybe I'd call it. You've got this beautiful, beautiful blue here. Let's take a look at that. So you've got a beautiful kind of dusty blue that has a color shift to it. It almost looks like it has a brown base with a teal float on top. The surprise was this shimmer though. It's called Silk Sheets. Okay, so lingerie is the blue, uh, blindfold, sex tape, and silk, silk sheets. Do we need to do all the overtly sexual references? I mean, honestly. Were we NARS? Okay, so this, the shimmer, was the win for me, was the absolute surprise. Okay, this shade right here is the one that I struggled with yesterday, so let's see if it doesn't go on a little bit better today. My challenge with this eyeshadow is that it really wanted to get patchy on me, and it's it, it seemed to just be super sheer. It wasn't really what I expected, I guess. I think I expected more punch, or maybe more I don't know, saturation, more consistent formula, I don't know. We're trying it again because I wanted to see if a different eyelid primer would make a difference. And you guys know I'm not a professional makeup artist, I'm not a professional YouTuber, so I don't, I don't know all the tips and tricks of getting things to perform. I also feel like you shouldn't have to have instructions to apply makeup. I guess maybe if it was, you know, some crazy gadget or really unusual formula, but this is an eyeshadow palette. Like, We've seen eyeshadow palettes. And I actually don't have one that's like this color story in the same palette. There is a note in the cosmetic pouch. Basically talks about how when she was younger she didn't feel beautiful and makeup was an escape. And I get that. I think we all felt that way at some point in time. I mean, otherwise you wouldn't be here, right? Alright, I might have to try to build that up a little bit more. But as far as a transition shade, it's, it's fine. You know, you would think that this pink would be your transition shade. I find that that's not really the case for me. Actually, I'm going to take that lighter pink. And I'm going to use that right in here. And we're going to just drag it underneath my eye. Lower lashes. Lower eyelids have seemed very, very crepey lately. And I think I need to find a different eye cream. Super subtle. I might actually take a little bit of that right up here too. I'll get it to tie in all the colors. This, again, this one's my favorite shade so far. I'm going to apply it with my finger. It's very, very creamy and has just a beautiful consistency. And this one actually, I feel like, gives me the opacity that I want. If you guys have been here more than a minute, you see that I do a lot of looks where I have a darker shade on the outer side, work it into my crease. And I do that because I have these... I feel like I've got a makeup smear back there, but I guess it's just shadow. I have these close-set hooded eyes. And so I try to give myself, you know, some dimension, some eye lift, some something. I do think that this shimmer layers beautifully over that matte. See, it's starting to come together a little bit. I think I just had to change my expectations about this eyeshadow palette and the formula. I felt like I couldn't really go into it using it the same way as I've used other shadows because this rosewood just didn't, didn't build up to the level that I wanted it to. And that's not to say that that's a bad thing. I just had to change my perceptions of it. I'm going to actually use this blue in a minute. I'm going to put on some eyeliner first, and then I th think I'm going to do a little bit of smudge with that blue here. So let me get this eyeliner on really fast. 
I'm not the world's best um, liquid eyeliner app applier. We're gonna try here. Here's what I like about it. It's not too runny. It didn't get all over the place. The tip is just firm enough. And I don't do usually any kind of like winged, you know, like a crazy winged liner because I've got those folds and you end up having to do that weird bat wing thing and that just doesn't really work for me. As long as they're relatively symmetrical. Like most people, my eyebrows, my eyes, and my eyeliner are, are sisters, not twins. Eyeliner and mascara make all the difference, right? Okay, I've got a little tiny, smaller, firm brush. I'm gonna put a little setting spray on it. I just had the Ciate London Vacay setting spray. We're gonna use that. Now, yesterday when I tried this eyeshadow palette and the look, I went in dry with it. And, and again, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this on my damp brush. And it was okay, but I thought, you know what, I actually wanna try this, something a little bit different here. So the only thing I have underneath my lashes right now is I did dust a little bit of the lightest pink in this palette. It barely shows up. And what I wanna do is just kinda of go over the top and the bottom with that blue, just gives it a little bit of something, something extra. I feel like that blue, when applied on top, of, like above that black eyeliner, really kind of softened it so that it wasn't just like a super harsh 1950s line, which if that's your thing, totally fine. I'm not judging at all. Not really the look I was going for today. All right, so you've got a little bit of that blue kind of tapped on the top and the bottom. Now I'm gonna put on some mascara. What are we using today? You know what, I was gonna use, I'm still trying to use up this Wonder Beauty Mile High Club mascara. We're gonna use it. We're gonna use this one today. Give me just a second to put some mascara on and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I think this mascara is finally on its last leg. This bronzy color, just a little bit more. That one to me is the best color in the palette. Like I don't mind the light pink and the rosewood, but they're, they're not the primary shade for me. This one here gives me a lot more of you know, my normal, that's what I've been doing with this, playing with this. I'm actually gonna, I'm, I didn't bring her, my house lab lip gloss down here, but I've got this e.l.f. Uh, this is from that mint collection that they did here February or so. This one has a little bit of like glitter flex in it, but it's also a limp, lip plumping gloss. So there we go. There's my Lady Gaga birthday kit look. I've been using that Dyson hair dryer and iron thing. My husband got me one and it's okay. It's expensive. I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to use it. So I hope you guys are doing really well. And this was fun kind of playing with this stuff, my experiences with it. I'm gonna keep playing with that eyeshadow because now that I kind of feel like I've figured it out, I think I feel like it went on much better today than it has in the past. It took me a couple of days. I mean, honestly, it took me three tries before I felt like I kind of got the most use out of it. So before I figured out really kind of how to use it. Yeah, leave me a comment down below. Tell me, have you played with any of the House Lab stuff? Do you have a favorite pro favorite product? What is your favorite product? And I hope you guys are doing really well. And until my next video, bye for now.